was that any party that takes over by brutal force will not get any recognition. Uh, yes, Swati. So first, I want to strongly endorse and reiterate what uh, Dr. Karnad just said. Uh, you know, our ambassador to the UN, uh, Mr. Tirumurthy, he has made a very, very clear statement that we expect three things from the Taliban. Right. Number one is that their territory will not be used for terrorism. Number two, uh, minorities. And number three, women will be treated properly. Uh, so the, the uh, lines that have been drawn are very clear. All the signs are that the Taliban is attempting to do this. Now, will there be uh, disaggregated acts of brutality? Absolutely, yes. Because the Taliban has always been a disaggregated uh, uh, body, you know, it's 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 it, it, uh, it it's like an octopus with multiple uh, legs and things like that. Now, what is important to us is India's interests. Number one, to prevent it from being used as a terror ground, and number two, to go in there to have our ears and eyes uh, on the ground so that we pick up on intelligence. And, uh, you know, continuing with our projects there is very important. That is exactly why you need to recognize the Taliban, go in there right now to thwart Chinese designs out there, proactively turn them towards mm. you. Now, remember, Mullah Baradar, he was arrested by the Pakistanis in 2010 for trying to cut a deal with India, with Karzai and with the Americans. The Pakistanis didn't like that. They arrested him and they threw him in a jail for eight years. Not the kind of jail they threw uh, um, uh, Azhar Masood in uh, because, you know, uh, Masood Azhar was going around producing children in jail and eating chicken biryani or mutton biryani or whatever it was every day. Uh, uh, Mullah Baradar was in actual, actual jail. He hates the Pakistanis. All the Taliban I have interviewed, Ghor, Ghazni, Kandahar, Herat, they hate the Pakistanis. All right. Uh, so I, I think there's something very wrong going out with the messaging out here that we're not able to understand this huge opportunity that has presented itself to us. We need to be engaging with them. We need to get in there. We need to ingratiate ourselves with them. We need to create, uh, uh, you know, uh, dependence for them on us. Because remember, when the Mujahideen first came to power, they hated India because they thought we had supported the Soviet Union. Within one or two years, they had turned completely pro-India and completely anti-Pakistan. And that is why Pakistan got rid of them. We need to do the same thing here. And the only way of doing that is engaging with them now, not tomorrow, yesterday. Hmm.